All right, good morning, everyone. Please excuse the mess that is my car. It is on the agenda to get cleaned this week. But today's video is definitely going to be a little bit different from me. I am going to try and showcase what I spend in a week. I'm gonna attempt this vlog type style and see how it works. I've seen multiple people do it. I think it's interesting, so I thought why not give it a try. So it is Saturday, June 5th. It is 7.48 a.m. This is typically when I like to start doing my Uber and my door dashes in the morning. So we are up bright and early on Saturday morning to try and get this breakfast rush. I tend to make a little bit more money in the morning, so I wake up early and try and earn some cash. So what I'm on the way to is to get a bagel before I get started because I need to energize myself. I do bring myself some juice. This is apple juice and this is going to be my drink. I do not drink coffee, so that is what I have to do to wake myself up. So after I'm finished with my DoorDash and my Uber in the morning, I have a few errands that I wanna get done. I do have this bag right here of clothes that I want to return to the mall. So I will be returning those. And then also I have my gifts envelope because since I'm going on vacation, by the time I get back, it will be Father's Day. So I want to attempt to get everything in order for my dad, you know, pick him up a little something, something. So while I'm out today, I will try and find him something for Father's Day. So hopefully as you guys watch this video, you will understand and see how I use my envelopes and see how simple it can be to get started with it. Cause I know I get a couple of questions on how I do this and how I do that. So I'm gonna attempt to show you guys. But let me stop rambling. I start my dash at 8 a.m. and as we can see, it's 7.50. So let me go ahead, run and get my bagel. All right, so I pulled up at the bagel spot. I come here so often, I already know how much it's going to be. So I'm just gonna go to my eating out section and I know it's gonna be $6. So I'm gonna take out these two fives and go and get myself my breakfast. The, um, bacon, egg, and cheese on a plain bagel. Sure. That's all. So it's good. Yes. That's all? Yep. Okay. And then, um, Thank you. Thank you. Bacon, egg, and cheese on a plain? Thank you. Me too. guys so i got my breakfast yum yum and now i can eat y'all i did not even realize that my gas tank was this low i'm out here doing deliveries like i got an endless supply of gas so let me pause that and go fill up my tank. All right guys, so I am pulled up here at Costco about to get my gas and let me show you how I do that. So if you know Costco, when you come here, you know you can only pay with a debit card or a credit card. So I will be doing that. But I have this envelope here marked for gas, and this is gas for my Uber, which is what I'm doing now. So I'm about to fill up my tank. I have $30 in here. So I am going to give them my debit card and ask for 30 regular. And then what I do is I just take out this $30. This is my $30. And all I do is I have this miscellaneous category right back here. 
So I'm just going to put that back there. And what that is, is that I know when I go to the bank, any money that I put back here, I need to deposit that back into my checking account. So basically, I'm just paying myself back for the $30 that I'm about to charge on my debit card right now. So that is as simple as that. That's like the same concept I use if I'm buying something online. That is how I do that. All right, guys, there we go. Got my $30 worth of gas. Gas right now is $2.91. Ridiculous, but it is okay because now we are kind of full. Not full quite, but you know, close enough. So now I can continue to do my door dashes and my Uber. All right, everyone, it is now 10.56 a.m. I was listening to Kelly Rowland, so that is why her picture is on the screen. But it's 11 a.m. I'm gonna call it a morning for my DoorDash. It wasn't that great, so I'm just gonna end it and I'll come back in the afternoon and hopefully I can make some more money. But now I'm gonna get my Saturday started with the few errands that I have to run. I am here with my bag for my return of my clothes and I am at the mall. So I'm gonna go ahead and return that now. I will not actually be getting like money for this bag because I already bought something. So it's kind of like an exchange, but I need to return these clothes before the um, date expires where I can't return it anymore. So I'm going to hop in here. I might look around a little bit. So if I'm in a store and I buy something, I'll let you guys know. Honestly, I just don't even understand why I play myself. I say I'm not going in there to buy anything. I walk past, I'm supposed to have one mission to return something. But of course, in the midst of me returning something, I see something I want and I buy it and then I go crazy. So that's just what happened. <laughs> I stopped myself to the point where I didn't go too crazy, but I did buy some things I wasn't supposed to, but oh well, I had the money for it. It's just I wasn't planning on buying it. But anyway, so now I am on my way to pick up some things for my father for Father's Day. I was thinking about this and I ultimately came to the decision that I am going to buy him a Father's Day card and some scratch offs. I did that for his birthday. He really enjoyed it. It was one of you guys' suggestions. So that's what we're about to be on our way to do. I will go pick up his card, pick up some scratch offs, and then I will catch back up with you guys later. Oh my goodness, people in their cars are already looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking to my phone, but I am trying to ignore them. But I wanted to make a quick detour before I went and got the card. I wanted to stop by this Burlington and see if I can find anything for my dad. Sometimes I come in here, they find cute little gadgets for him that he can use. So we're just gonna pop in there, see what they have and see if we can find anything. So let's head into Burlington. bought more stuff from Burlington but do we think it has anything to do with Father's Day? Of course not. <laughs> I just bought more stuff for me. Oh, I gotta stop this. All right y'all it is so hot. I think I'm gonna have to make another detour and pick me up a little refreshment because all that shopping for myself honey you know it tires you out so what i think i'm about to do is go um to dunkin donuts and get me a nice refresher they have this 
like strawberry um lemonade drink that is so good it's gonna be my new like summertime drink so i'm gonna go and pick that up All right, guys i got my drink oh this is going to be so good it's like this new strawberry lemonade refresher that they have here at dunkin donuts and i am loving it so this is definitely going to help me on this hot 90 degree weather day oh and by the way this was three dollars and 29 cents i believe i just rounded up to about four dollars and i also took this out of my eating out category i think when i get home i'll be able to tell you guys everything that I spent because it's kind of hard when you're in the store and paying for things and it's just me holding the camera so I'll try and recap you guys when I get back to my house. So another thing that was running through my mind since I'm driving I just enjoy talking with you guys this is so therapeutic for me <laughs> to like talk to people but um, another thing that I was debating was whether or not to do a, like a get to know me type of video or a Q&A video. I've been on YouTube for about over a year now and I want you guys to kind of know me. I, f I mean, I feel like you know me if you watch like my budget videos, but I don't know. You might have some questions that you may want to ask me. So I was debating whether or not I should do a Q&A video. So let me know how you guys feel about that. I mean, if you are into it, of course, leave some questions down below. And then if I have enough questions, I'll ask them. Now, I am not an open book. <laughs> I still have some personal things that I do like to keep personal within my life. So if I feel like a question is too personal, I will not answer it, but I will try to be as transparent with you guys as I can. I am an introvert at the end of the day, so even me just out here doing this is out of my comfort zone. But the first step will be a Q&A. So if you guys want to know some questions about me, about myself, about my budgeting, about the cash envelope system, any of that, go ahead and leave those questions down below. And then maybe I'll have a Q&A video sometime in the future. All right, so when I go into the Dollar Tree and when I go get the scratch offs, I'm just going to take all of my money out of my gifts category. So it's as simple as that. All right, everyone, so we are back at the house. I had a moment to come in and get myself together. So I did come home and I tried on the clothes that I bought at the mall and of course they don't fit. I don't like the way they look because the fitting rooms were closed. So that will be going back. So ultimately I didn't even spend the extra money that I did. So I guess that's somebody telling me that I had no business to buy those clothes in the first place, but over here are the other bags that I purchased. This is the bag from Dollar Tree and then this is the bag from Burlington for everything that I bought. So now I'm going to show you guys how I basically reconcile all of the things that I buy within the day and how I keep track of it weekly. But in case anybody's interested, I'll show you guys what I bought. All right. so first up is what I got from Dollar Tree. You guys saw the card that I picked up for my dad. So it's just so cute. It says, it takes a special man to be a good father. And then inside it says, being a good father takes someone who's patient, kind, and caring. It takes someone as wonderful as you. Happy Father's Day. So I just thought that this was so cute and it shows me and my dad, I feel like. So... I felt like that related, so that is definitely perfect. 
And then I got him the scratch-offs. It came to a total of $12 for all of the scratch-offs that I got him. So all together for my Father's Day, it's $13. And as I told you guys, I saw something on Etsy that I think I'm also going to purchase. And that's about $25, I think. So I'm going to do all of that stuff. And that should be good for my dad. All right. So next up is Burlington. Let me find the receipt. <laughs> all right. I found the receipt. So we see that the total at Burlington, I spent $21.72. I round up everything, so I spent $22. One thing that I got was a tripod for the car to hold up my phone in the car. So I got that from Burlington, so that is not here. It is in the car. And then I am a sucker for like home stuff, like anything from my house, I'm going to buy it. So this is like a cute little organizer that I'm going to put in my bathroom to hold my cotton swabs and my cotton balls and, you know, that stuff. So I thought that was cute. Then I saw this cute um, holder for like forks, spoons, and knives. And I need one of these to hold my utensils because I don't keep my utensils in like a drawer. I have them within my cabinets. So I thought this was cute. This will organize my stuff. So I bought that. And then the last thing that I bought was also for my house. And it's one of these things to hold like your cooking spoon and your, you know, when you're cooking to rest it on here so it doesn't dirty up the counter. So yes, I've been trying to find one that's like cute and simple. And I thought this was perfect. That is everything that I bought at Burlington. So now let me show you guys how I keep track of all of my expenses so I do not go over budget. All right guys, so here is my budget binder. Someone recently asked me where do I put all of my papers and stuff when I'm done and this is where they go. I have a binder dedicated for all of my budget sheets. I hole punch them at the end of the month and I add them within this binder. So all of the months beginning with the start of this year, I have all of my sheets right in here. I keep track of everything for every month. It's all right here. So as you can see, I do have two sheets. They're called weekly check-in and my expense trackers. These are available within my Etsy shop and I do use them. So everything within the budget kit, I do use them. I haven't showcased me using these sheets on my channel in a while. I stopped making videos because it seemed like people didn't really want to watch them. So this is what I use to track all of my expenses. So I'm going to go to the June sheets and then we will go through that together. All right, so these are my sheets for June. As you can see, I already started it for the first week. Now, when it comes to the weekly check-in, I do not do this until the end of the week. So if we look here, we see that it started on May 29th and it goes till June 4th. So my next one, which is the week that we are in now, it's gonna be all of my spending between June 5th and June 11th. But I will not complete this until the end of the week. So all I do throughout the week is just track my expenses and see what I spent today. So I think this sheet is very valuable to me. It really lets me put into perspective what I'm doing and what I'm spending my money on. Because as you can see, even today, I can get into a habit of just spending money, spending money, and then... I can get off track but here i can see okay girl you've been spending way too much money on eating out you know dial it down you've been spending too much money on spending dial it down so that's why i really like these papers so another important thing for this sheet is to keep track of all of your receipts receipts are everything for me because i pay everything in cash most of the time so i keep all of my receipts within my wallet and then at the end of every day i add everything and then I scan my receipts to get my fetch points. So let's just go ahead and get started with today. And this morning we went to the bagel shop. I took that out of my eating out. And for me, I don't deal with change. So my bagel actually came to like $5.86, but I just put $6 because I don't keep track of my change. So it's gonna be $6 that I'm gonna write here. 
Now, the next place that we went was to go get gas from Costco. However, I do not write that down within this expense sheet because I took that money out of the gas envelope, which is just for my DoorDash and my Uber. That's kind of like a business expense. That's why I put it under expenses when I do my budget breakdown because I didn't really have to pay for it. It came out of the money that I made previously to DoorDash and Uber again. So hopefully that makes sense and that's why I'm not going to write it down here because I don't need to track that. So after that, we did go to Burlington. Well, actually I'm lying. We went to the mall, but as I said, I'm just returning those clothes. So it's nothing for me to write down here. So if we go ahead and write Burlington, that will be the transaction. And I took that out of my spending and altogether that was $22. So that will be the amount. And then we went to Dunkin' right after Burlington and I got me that refresher that was just so good. And that I also took out of eating out and that was $3 and some change, but I don't deal with the change. So that will be $4 that I'm going to write for that expense. So next we did go to the Dollar Tree and the liquor store to get the scratch offs, but that came out of my sinking funds. So that is something totally different. So in terms of just my cash dividers within my wallet, this is all I did for today. So I am done with this sheet. And what I use to track my sinking funds throughout the month is this cute little binder that I got from, I think it was Michael's and it's just the happy planner little um, notebook. So all I do is just go to a blank page and I will write June. Now I'm not gonna go into detail because I do that within my sinking funds update video, but here is just where I log it. So I know what I spent and what I took out, all of that stuff. So if we write gifts and I'm going to write Father's Day. And as we said for the card and for the scratch offs, that was a total of $13. So I'm gonna put minus 13 so I know, but that's just all I do for my sinking funds. So then at the end of the month, I'll come here, see everything I did, add that to my sinking fund sheet, and that is that. So that's really how I do it throughout the week. I don't wanna do too much. I really go into depth within it and you know checking my balances and all that stuff at the end of the week. But I believe that's all the spending I'm gonna do for today. I'm really just gonna stay in the house. I'm gonna go back in Uber later on in the day, but I don't anticipate spending any more money. So that should be a wrap for Saturday. Good morning, guys. We are on day number two for this weekly spending in my life type of vlog. It is Sunday, June 5th, I believe. No, it's June 6th. Yesterday was the 5th. So it is Sunday, June 6th. It is 8.20 in the morning. I am up bright and early again because I am going to the grocery store. I'm not going to do a big grocery shop like how I normally do because I won't be home for about the next week but I wanna pick up a few things just to hold me over for the remainder of the week. So normally when I go grocery shopping, it's every Sunday morning and I go to my three standard grocery shops. I start off at Walmart, then I go to Aldi, and then I head over to ShopRite. I go where the deals are and I do this every two weeks and then I come back and do it again the next two weeks. So right now I'm on my way to Walmart. I'm not gonna go to Aldi today. I just need to go to Walmart and the shop right, you know, just to get my few things. Later on today, it will be a day dedicated to my car. I need to get an oil change and I'm going to get a car wash. I know you guys are like, oh my God, her car is so dirty. Listen, it's not normally dirty, but I just didn't wanna clean it until I went on my vacation. But I do routinely clean my car because I do the Uber and DoorDash and stuff. So you gotta keep your car nice and clean when you're delivering the food. 
So after that, it should be a pretty relaxing Sunday. I'm gonna go out and Uber and DoorDash again for Sunday for the last day of the week. And then after that, I'm on break from that. But as of now, that's pretty much all that's going on. I have a little bit of a drive to get to Walmart, so I will talk to you guys when I get there. Alright guys, so as you can see, I pulled up to the Walmart. It's now 8.34 a.m. right here. We can see the time. So, what I need to tell you guys is that it's a must when you go to the grocery store to have your list. Now, I do not have a lot of things. Like I said, I'm not picking up a lot of things. I'm just picking up a few. But this is always what I write when I go grocery shopping. I write my groceries at the top because I tend to do my grocery shopping and my toiletries shopping in the same time. So I shop for both at the same time. So I go to Walmart, like I said, so I will write everything from here that I get from Walmart. I go to Aldi, but like I said, I'm not going to any, I'm not going to Aldi today because I don't have anything and I go to ShopRite. So the next major question that I always get is, what if I'm in a store and I'm shopping for two categories? So as we see here, I have my groceries and I have my toiletries. So when I'm in here, like when I'm in the Walmart, I'm gonna get my grocery stuff and I'm gonna get my toiletry stuff. What I do is I separate them like in the cart, like I, I put in the front my groceries, in the back my toiletries, however it is, I separate them so I know the difference between the two. And when I check out, I do self-checkout, so I would pay for my groceries with one transaction and I would pay my toiletries with another transaction. Now, even if I don't do self-checkout, like if I decide to go to the lane where there's a worker and they scan my stuff for me, I will still do two separate transactions because I do not want to get my categories mixed up. So if that sounds like too much for you, then I understand, but for me it works and it's just another way for me to keep my categories in order. So let's go ahead and hop into Walmart. So they didn't have everything that I came here for, but I picked up what I could. But if you see here, like this side of the cart is like all of my toiletry stuff. And then over here is like my grocery food. Down here is the water, but I'm not doing a lot. So it was a quick shop. So now we can go and check out. guys i wish you guys were there to see how many people were looking at me crazy for recording in that grocery store <laughs> like they just kept looking they're like what is this girl doing and then i was trying to talk to myself to explain to you guys what i do and the lady was just all up in my face and it's like even though we're all wearing the mask and everything i can feel you staring at me and it's uncomfortable like let me do me so honestly i hope the footage was okay um i was trying to tell you guys in there i didn't find everything that i needed so it was even quicker of a shopping experience than i thought it was going to be but it's whatever i try to go to shop right and if i don't find it there then it is what it is but yes that is done so now we are on our way to shop right to get the other little bit of things that i know walmart doesn't sell but i like so i just get them from shop right and we are making good time it is now nine in the morning it is another hot day it's saying that it's 82 degrees inside of my car but it feels like 90 but i guess that's all for now guys and i will check in with you guys when i'm at shop right
we are out of ShopRite. I tried my best to record, but you know, if it ain't come out right, I'm sorry guys. I'm trying to give you as much as behind the scenes as I can. If I had someone to hold the camera for me, maybe it'll be better, but it's hard. But I tried to show you again my process. I only had one thing I bought out of ShopRite that was for toiletries. So I just scanned that one item separately and then everything else I put together underneath my groceries. So that's it. I'm done grocery shopping and toiletry shopping for the next two weeks. It is now 9.45 a.m. So what I'm gonna do now is head back home, put these groceries away, and then we will head out to get my oil change. The dreaded oil change. I always hate going because they always find something wrong with the car. Like I go in for an oil change and they're like, you need this, 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 and this. And I just came for an oil change. So I'm trying to be stern and just say oil change. That's it. That's all I want. So that's what I'm going to do. We'll see how well that goes. And then right after my oil change, I'm going to go drive and get my car washed because she really needs it done. So I'm going to turn back on this AC because it is hot again, like I said. And I guess I'll talk to you guys when I'm back at the house. All right, guys. So I came in. I put the groceries away. So before I head out to get the oil change, I'm going to get my car maintenance envelope and take this with me so I can get my oil change and my car wash. So let's go. Hello, just here to get an oil change. All right, so clearly I am just not good at this uh, vlogging thing. It has been many days. If we look, it is now June 10th on Thursday at 3.38 p.m. I have not picked up the camera since Sunday, and I also have not spent any money since Sunday. During the weeks, I am working at home, so that's my little work laptop right there. So I tend not to really spend any money on the weekdays anyway, but also on Sunday, I just, I was just over it on Sunday and it just affected my mood for the rest of the week. So I was really debating if I was even going to continue making this um, weekly spend video, but I thought, let me try and stick it out and complete the week and go strong. So as I said, ever since Sunday, I have not spent anything, but I also did not document my spending that I did on Sunday. So all of that grocery shopping, I do need to add that to my budget binder. So we'll quickly go ahead and do that now. All right, so I'm just going to take out my expense tracker once again, and I'm gonna take out all of the receipts that we did and add those to my expense tracker that we did last time. All right, so when we went to Walmart and ShopRite, I did two separate transactions each time. So these two receipts are for my toiletries and then these two receipts are from my groceries. So I'm just going to add that right here to the expense tracker. All right, so as we can see, I documented those two spendings that I did. I just put Walmart slash ShopRite together. It all came out of groceries and all together that day we spent $35. And then the same thing for toiletries. When we went to Walmart and ShopRite, I write toiletries and then I put $22. And then also don't forget to scan all of your receipts to get your fetch points if you have the fetch app. All right, guys, so it is now the end of the week, so we are going to wrap up the weekly check-in. If we look over here, we see that I added the expenses that I did. I went to Costco, I went and got gas, I went to Walmart, I did spending, I went to the Dollar Tree, 
and I used my groceries and I went to Blimpies and I used my eating out. So all of this is going to be withheld in the week that we just talked about. And now I'm going to add everything over here to the weekly check-in. So in terms of the plus column, this is money that I added to my cash dividers over here. And this is always being shown when I do my paycheck cash envelope stuffings. So for gas, it got 30, so I'm gonna add 30. Spending got 40. Groceries got 100. Toiletries got 45. Clothing got 10. And eating out received 20. So now the minus column is just everything from the week referring to the category. So for gas, the only thing that we did this week was for $30. So we're going to do 30. And to get the remaining, you look up here from the week before, we added 30, we took out 30. So then that just brings us again to our remaining of $154. Now my gas, I don't have an actual cash divider that is all kept within my debit card, but I still like to keep track of it just to make sure I know what I have. So now we're moving on to spending. And for spending everything that we spent for this week, if we total it all up, that came to $28. So if we started off with 40, we added 40 and we took out 28, that should leave us with $52. So what I do is I come over here, take out my spending divider, and I just make sure that I have $52. So that's 20, 40, 50, 51, and 52. So that is correct. Then we move on to groceries. So groceries, if we look at everything for the week and total that up, it came to $36. So we started off with 40, I added 100, I took out 36. So I should now have $104 within groceries. Then we just look at groceries and count. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 104, that is correct. Up next it is toiletries. Toiletries for the week, that all came to $22. So we started off with five, we added 45, we took out 22. So I should now have $28 within toiletries. So looking at toiletries, that's 20, 25, 26, 27, and 28. So that is true. Up next, it's clothing. Clothing, I did not do anything for the week, so that would be zero. So if we started with 30, we added 10. I should now have $40 in my clothing. So 20, 30, 40, that is correct. And then the last thing is eating out. So eating out for the week, if we total up everything, that came to $20. So we started with 20, we added 20, we took away 20. So now we should be left with 20. So eating out and we have our one $20 bill. So that is how I keep track of all my spending. That is how I ensure that I stay on budget. And as always, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you did, go ahead, leave it down in the comments below. Be sure to like this video. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the family. But for now, that's all I have. And I will see you all next time in my next video. Bye, guys.